We're at Lane Stadium in Blacksburg, Virginia, and this crowd is over 66,000 people strong. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Fuller from the two. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. From their own 24-yard line, it's second down. And he's taken down at the 30-yard line. To the right. That's just how they drew it up. When I talked to this coach earlier in the week, he thought he could take advantage of zone coverage by attacking the perimeter outside the hashes. That time, it was a corner route, and it got him the first down. First and ten, ball on the 50. He's scrambling, runs with it, and he's got room. Looking for the corner, and he shoved out of bounds at the 40. Green nine, green nine. There was a three-yard completion, and we'll have a first and 10 coming up. Good look there from the quarterback, dumping it off and coming away with a new set of downs. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. He's taken down around the 24-yard line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executing. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. Thomas with the tackle at the 19-yard line. That brings up second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 19-yard line. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Green nine, green nine. Hands it to the back. Tackle made at the 18. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and four. This is the ninth play of this drive. rid of it quickly and that was almost picked here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away fourth down they'll line it up for the field goal virginia tech is looking to go up by three they try to get a head start there false start offense just a middle lapse but it's going to cost them five yards still fourth down He's looking for six. Turn Unable on. to pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Here's a quick throw. That was really a remarkable catch. The quarterback didn't throw a good ball, but the receiver made a great play. Hey, we got 
from the 48 yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Rush 36. 36 to Mike. He's knocked out of bounds around the 48 yard line. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Here's an opening. Tackled after a decent pickup. Gain of six on the play. Third down. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. down at the 35 yard line butler picks up about seven on the play and the completion is also good for a first down and i think the defense needs to make some adjustments here that's the third time this receiver has come down with a catch on this drive they need to figure out a way to slow this kid down he's tackled at the 27 yard line that's a game of eight on the play that makes it second and two it's second down and they're about two yards away from the sticks Caught and he steps out of bounds. Bates picks him up six yards with a catch. I'll tell you, these guys just keep rolling down the field. Quarterbacks looking very sharp on this drive. Forwards about the 19. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 19. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Here's the handoff, and he's brought down right away. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Defense holds, and the ball will change hands. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Good for a gain of six yards. That'll make it second and They're about four yards away here on second down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. the tailback he takes it right side for a good game so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first gains his way to the 46 yard line Right around the 38 yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike Take 35. Two. Yellow three. Tackle around the 
the 42 yard line. A loss of four yards. like that the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage he got away with one right there he's very fortunate next time he should just throw it away out of bounds Thomas is back deep to return he really got a hold of that one this punt bounces into the end zone and this will be a touchback the Hokies really took care of business on defense that first time out, Herbert. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. Runs it, and he stopped short of the line of scrimmage. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. They come and they got him sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack that's what happened there Coleman is back deep to return the punt Took him down hard. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for, that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out. They've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. with the carry. Gain of four on the play. Third down. Right, right, Roger, Roger. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Zed! <laughs> Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That play was designed to pick up a first down, but they didn't do it. It looks like the receiver just lost track of where he was on the field. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Fires complete over the middle. And they make the stop at about the 25-yard line. Oh, that was a big conversion. You could just see the other team's offense itching to get back on the field. And he stopped behind the line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. That is a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 27. Makes his way out to about the 15. We've played one. Still no score. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. They failed down here the last two times. And down he goes at about the 13. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And he 
He's taken down at the three. Number 35 brings him down at the three-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Touchdown, Hokies. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine play, 37 yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. They come out on an empty backfield. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He's taken down at the 42-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. He's got an opening. And he carries the ball for a nice game. And he keeps it on the option play and picks up six. That'll bring up second and three. Four yards away here on third down. Right, right, right. Down, down. I got you, 88. I got you. Mike, and he's hit immediately. Well, it was third down, so they obviously had to get to the sticks, and they did just that with this little pass play. That makes it first and ten. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. From the 48-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. He scrambled. He's wrapped up for the sack. are still on the field. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. They don't pick up the first down, and the ball will change hands. This time, the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch down. is going to be enough to draw the flag. Right, right, first and right, 15 right. now after the penalty. Three down, three down. 35 the mic. They run it left. Gets to about the 34-yard line. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. That makes it second and 14. Virginia Tech is up a score. I got you, 
short over the middle. He tackles him for a loss. No gain on the play. That makes it third and 15. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 34. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down around the 38-yard line. That's a gain of four on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Booming kick. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. In terms of a gain of 12 yards. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Mike 36. Mike 36. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Diving for extra yardage. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. He's scrambling. He's at midfield. Dives forward. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. Yeah, that's, what I, that's what I do. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Yeah, yeah, the Tackle made around the 41-yard line. A part of any quarterback's arsenal should be the ability to sell the run with a good fake. He does a really good job here on the fake, and then they pick up some nice yards. From the 41-yard line, it's first down. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's at the 30. Brought down at the 24. First down. From the 24-yard line. First down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Here he goes. Gets out to around the 15. Gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. Number 16 comes in at quarterback. Well, as they take a look at that injury on the sideline, let's see what this backup can do at quarterback. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 49-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The Raging Cajuns quarterback, we saw him taken out earlier down there on the sideline after being injured. I don't think he's in that much pain right now, though, and I would bet that he'll be back in the game before the day's done. That makes it second and 14. We've got a second and 14. Ball on their own 46. Easy, easy. 
throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it 37. Nothing clicking there. Let's see if they can make a few adjustments before their next series. That brings up fourth and seven. Hughes can pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. He punts. No, he won't. Unable to convert on fourth down, and the ball changes hands. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 46. makes the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up third and two. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Run, 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 run. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. That brings up second and nine. Get to that quickly. And he is drilled at the 31 yard line. Third down. And here's another third down. Roger, Roger. Mike 36. Mike 36. Yeah. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. That'll make it fourth and six. Might have been some early movement up front. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low point. threshold for mistakes like that. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Both offenses have played it pretty close to the best so far in this one. Yeah, because they've been so conservative, it's made it pretty easy for both of these defenses to be pretty dominant. Let's see an offense open it up and take a few chances. They went for it on fourth down on their last possession and weren't Ready? successful. That stop gave this defense some momentum last time out. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep that intensity on this drive. Got it and brought down immediately. The defense provided good pressure on the play, but they just weren't able to get to the quarterback that time. Well, he really didn't have to do too much much there to give himself a little room to make the catch so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first here we go here we go, here we go. blue 20 go flags are all over the place and they'll blow it dead false start offense little stumbles like these can kill your offensive progress still second down Here we go, here we go, here we go. Go. 
Nice play across the middle. Tackle at the 36. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. And he just gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Steps out of bounds at the 41-yard line. Five yards. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Zips it to the back. He's at midfield. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. Virginia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From the 44-yard line, first down. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick strike to the receiver. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. I'd go right back to him. He's got the skills to make things happen, and the defense might not be able to keep up at this moment. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Now he tries to buy some time. Nice move, and he scores. Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. He hits the PAT. A seven-play, 85-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. You, know, you can throw the football as well as these guys can. You don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, 14-7. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's into the open field. Harris takes a handoff. Nice run, and he's brought down. We played a half of football. Virginia Tech in front, 14-7. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. David, I'm sure there are plenty of people out there just loving this game. I mean, these two teams are spinning the magic bead all <laughs> over the yard. Big numbers on offense. Pitch and catch, run after the catch, all the offensive work. Yeah, I, there's nothing to talk about defensively, but if offensively, if you want to start talking about it, I mean, everything that you're doing is right. And to be able to throw it deep, to be able to throw it short, to be able to make the defense honor every part of the field, the offenses are really in rhythm. They're really in a groove. And this is one of those games that you, you see a lot on the West Coast. I mean, it's just, it's, it seems like there's not a lot of defense, but the offenses know what they want to do and how they want to do it and the scoreboard just goes doo -doo 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 -doo. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. All right, no, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Virginia Tech's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And they'll get him in the backfield. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball in the 23. Mike 36. Mike 36. And he's taken down at about the 25 yard line. That brings up third and 10. He 
airs it out. Picked off. It's the cornerback. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Not only did he demonstrate his leaping ability, but he also has the hands to be able to pull the ball in. Great job. We talked about this sophomore before the game, and he sure can play, I'll tell you that. From their own 36-yard line, it's first down. Virginia Tech is up seven. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. Loss of two on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Hey, right, Roger, Roger. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready, go. Ah! He heaves it deep. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 34 yard line. Third down. Dog four. Fires right side. Got his tailback. They'll bring him down at the 34. Number 92 with the tackle at the 34 yard line. Fourth down. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's taken down at the 29. Returns for a game of 10 yards. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. The last possession didn't go in the favor for this offense. I'd expect to see them come out and be a little bit more conservative with some safe play calling in order to avoid another bad result. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. That's a game of 16 on the play. First down. Two times, two times. Four down, four down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Down, check motion, motion, motion. Motion, motion. He might have a chance. They go to the left for a nice game. Gain of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 38. Gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. From the 38-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Quick throw incomplete. One of his receiver. rid of this one here's the eighth play of the series quick strike and he drops it brad do you imagine being the offensive coordinator right now your quarterback is out of sync he's not making the throws now you're facing a pivotal fourth down and you've got a quarterback and an offense that's struggling what are you going to do? And he can't get the pass off, and he's sacked. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. 
Virginia Tech up seven points. Tackle made at about the 47-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. to about the 34-yard line. Makes it out to about the 26. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Field. Call it a loss of one yard on the play. That makes it third and three. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Run. Run. Nice run up the middle. That's a game of four on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 23-yard line. Brought down right around the 14-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Mike 35. Mike 35. And two. Eight. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. Missed tackle. He's brought down in the open field. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. Looking to go up two touchdowns. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Key in, key in. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. And two, go. He's tackled at the four, and the halfback carries for a pickup of three. A gain of three on the play. That makes it if they can get it in here, it'd make it a two-score game. It's third and goal. They line up in the jumbo set. Looks like someone got a head start on the line. False start, offense. They'll give this one another try after the flag. And on third down, too. That's when you don't want those kind of things to happen. Touchdown. I like how the quarterback, the offensive line, and the receivers made a concerted effort to get into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Hughes ready to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. For Virginia Tech, their pass rush has really been impressive today, Kirk. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. The guys lining up on defense have really contributed to this two-possession lead. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. A gain of eight on the carry. Call it a gain of eight yards. 
That makes it second down. It's two. second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He has some room. Gets to around the 42. That's how we do, dude. That's how we do. That makes it first and ten. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Was the intended receiver on the play. It's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Get up. Motion, motion. Yeah, motion, motion. Down. Check motion, motion, motion. Get up, get up. Get up. And that one's incomplete. to return. Fielded at the 19. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Hokies have shown here in the third quarter they're not content to just sit on that lead they built in the first half. Well, they did a nice job in the first half, but the adjustments that they made at halftime have allowed them to find some matchups to their advantage, and they've taken uh, full advantage of it. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. Flinch down there on the line. False start, offense. Well, that penalty drives them back, and they're shooting themselves in the foot here. Well, if they could just keep their concentration, they'll avoid situations like that. So the penalty will make it first and 15. Tackle after decent pickup, and a six yard pickup by the halfback on the delay. and they need to get it down to the 39. Mike 35, Mike 35. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Perfect timing to jar the ball loose and not pick up the penalty. That was a solid play. That'll bring up fourth and nine. Thomas will be the return man. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. We're taking a look at a seasoned defender logging another huge effort. Brad, how many times have we talked about this guy? He just feels like he's like in his sixth or seventh year of starting for this team. But I tell you, I don't know if there's anybody in the country who cares more about his program than this young man. Guy has three sacks. You've got to do something to slow him down. I would suggest a chip block. Use a tight end to stay in to help out. Maybe a running back. Anything you can do to try to create any kind of confusion for this defender is something that's going to help you out. Flags are all over the place, and they'll blow it dead. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. First and 15 now after the penalty. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. He's going to try and scramble. That's a great tackle at the 11-yard line. Second and one. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Go out there, check the outs out there. Go down, go down. Watch 36. 36. Ah, 
incomplete pass. Allen was the intended receiver on the play. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. And he's going to be sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Dangerous area to punt out of here. Let's see if they bring the heat. Coleman fields it at the 42. Tackle at the 35. Flag on the play. Let's see what it is. Personal foul. Clipping. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way back. You just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. From the 50. First down. Tackle around the 49-yard line. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. That brings up second and nine. Tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. Atkins with the tackle at the 48-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Pass is left, going the other way. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 37-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 37-yard line, it's second down. Down, down. Don't leave yet, folks. We still got one more quarter to go. 21-7, Virginia Tech. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Jones, the intended receiver on the play. Here's third and eight. Ball on the 37. We're still early in the fourth quarter, but that was a huge stop. And now with the lead, they're going to get the football back and an opportunity to stretch the lead. Back with a carry. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 49. He's taken down around the 48 yard line. Strike to the receiver. And he's taken down right around the 38 yard line. From the 38 yard line, it's first down. And he is drilled at the 36. And 
and this is the ninth play of the current drive. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He scrambles. Slides down to the ground. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. That'll make it third and five. It's third and five. Ball on the 32. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Here's the 11th play of the drive. run up the middle. Harris picks up about four yards on the play. That brings up second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 23. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. They try to run it inside and hammer down. This is the 13th play of this drive. on the run and down he goes at the 11 that's good for a game of 12 yards first down from the 11 yard line first down looking for the corner got an opening touchdown raging cajuns Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. And he hits the PAT. So a 13 play, 65 yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. So the score now, 21-14. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the three. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure so when it was thrown. Flipping. Let's find out. Receiving team. That's frustrating for a coach Still when you preach down. fundamentals every week and then have someone called for clipping. That penalty really is going to set them back. Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Might have been some early movement up front. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. Dog four, green 15. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 13-yard line. Brewer gets six yards after taking it himself. That brings up second and nine. Watch it out. Watch it out. Mike 35. Mike 35. Virginia Tech up seven points. Red two. Go. Flips it middle to the running back. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. That's a game of four on the play. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. Green nine, green. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. fake brought down at the 44 first and 10 ball on the 44 five wide he's tackled at the 48 that brings up second and one Green 
And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And once again, they'll come to the line, trying to convert on third down. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Virginia Tech is up by a touchdown. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Takes the ball inside. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and 10. From their own 20-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. He's pushed out of bounds around the 25-yard line. That'll make it third and five. Fires out to his wideout, and he's tackled at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at the 37-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Side. Good outside run there. That'll bring up third and four. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Hands it to the back. And he's leveled at the 41 yard line. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. And down he goes at the 32-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check Pushing out the five. penalty. Clipping. Receiving team. Nice yardage on the run back. Returned for a gain of 10 yards. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 32. Watch 14, watch 14. Red. Over the middle to his tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Louisiana Lafayette just took their first time out. He gets to about the 41 yard line. The Ragin' Cajuns call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 44-yard line. The Ragin' Cajuns using their third and last timeout. He fights forward to about the 46. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Here we go, here we go. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Green nine, green nine. Green eight. Go. Nice run, and he's brought down. Gain of six yards. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Under a minute left in the game. Up 
the middle for a nice game. This one's in the books, and our final score, 21-14, Hokie. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.